Hi, this is Zach with your Walter Showroom Update. Since we're finally rolling into summer, thought it'd be a good idea to pack up the car, go have a little fun, visit one of our local drive-ins. Uh, the Cornerstone Skyview Drive-In is one of my favorite kits that we've produced in the last few years. It provides a great point of interest for any HO scale layout. Sadly, within our local communities, a lot of these drive-ins are going away. Um, they're folding up shop, but with this kit, you can recapture that happy, warm, nostalgic feeling that you used to get when you pull through the gate, you'd find your parking spot, you'd unload for the night, and you'd enjoy some movie magic. Um, and because it allows for a working screen, it's real easy to get caught up in the detailing with figures, with vehicles, um, trees, fences, whatever you deem necessary to create whatever scene you want. Let's say like a 1979 screening of a certain good versus evil tale between Jedi Knights and Dark Forces. Let's go take a look. All right, so the kit actually comes with four different structures and some nice details. There's the main screen here, there's the ticket booth, you've got the entrance sign with the marquee, and then you've got your concession stand and projection house. Um, and you can almost hear the animated popcorn soft drinks dancing along and singing and suggesting that you go get a snack. The kit also comes with 24 different speaker stands, which you can see intersparse through here, and then we've also got some fencing that comes along with the kit. So you can really kind of flesh out the scene. The main screen is designed to house a variety of modern tablets. Most 7-inch tablets will fit in comfortably um, with the use of one of two different screen backs that are included in the kit. That then allows you to show your own movies, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. Um, you just slide your tablet in like such, you take off the top, put in your tablet, put the top back on, and you're ready to rock and roll. There's actually two screw tabs on the back of the base as well, so you can secure the screen to your bench where it can be nice and safe. The back of the screen also has various sound vents, so any sound being played by your tablet will be audible. Um, but if you don't have a tablet, however, that's not a problem. It's not the only way to model the main screen. We've also got these cardstock movie screens that you can put in place. You just adhere them to some acetate, maybe some, card, uh, some core foam, and you put it in place in the slot, and you've got a believable show for your moviegoers. You've got these two scenes here, and then you've also got this one with the submarine here. And we've also got some marquee signs that you can use to kind of flesh out the story for your own scene. Okay, we're going to dim the lights and we're going to show it in action. Now for this evening's feature, Attack of the Giant Leeches. Well, here's hoping. Dad, can't you throw the dynamite in from here? No, I want to get it out into the middle, in the deepest spot. Just picture a train rumbling by under the night sky. You really get a sense of what it would be like to be at the drive-in right now. All right, so that's our show for this week. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if you're interested in the Cornerstone Skyview driving kit, they're available right now. They should either be at your local hobby shop or on walters.com, so be sure to check those out. If you want to join us again next week, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Walters Proto Southern Pacific Class C30-1 cabooses. Um, we're going to run around the track, and we're going to get up close and personal with them so that you can see all the details. So join us again next week. Thank you.